Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, let me just redo that. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Sepia Tears. Oh, this is part four of the video. If you want to go check out part three and the rest, um, if I can, I'll put the links out. It's just I do this description. But if you can't, then just go to my channel and check it out yourself because I haven't been posting much videos. Oh, I might have to create a playlist later. Anyway, let's begin. Oh wait, I probably I probably shouldn't begin from here. Oh no. Hold on, let me just load this one. Here's where we stopped off. Yes, here is where we stopped. <clears throat> it's been a while. I remember when Rin and I used to come over here all the time doing nothing but sitting around and chatting over some video games. It's strange, but part of me feels like those days have vanished. Are they gone forever? They couldn't be. But even if we're doing the same old things, I can't help but glance out the window from time to time. Mostly when my chest tightens. Ah bright, ah, ah bright, ah bright. God, my eyes actually hurt just now. Ah, Mark, you're blushing. Uh, uh, I'm not. Right, three years ago. It's all right. I'm not teasing you. Well, maybe just a little. It's strange. I was different back then. But she's hardly changed at all. Cut it out already. I'm not in the mood. Of course you'd say that. Maybe so. But that doesn't make it any less true. Don't you have anything to do? Uh, not really. Unless you count homework. You've been on the computer all day, haven't you? Uh, I noticed you didn't end that sentence with a question mark. But school is boring. I know how you feel, Rin. I also think school is boring. But it's for your education. Oh no! Besides, it's not like you're doing anything other than mope, 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 mope around. I told you, I'm not. Her expression stops me in my tracks. I'm going upstairs. Leave me alone. Fine. I just bother you again tomorrow. I turn to leave, but I feel her eyes on my back. I walk away. That was me. It's surreal. Was that really how I felt back then? It all seems to have faded over time. Maybe I just got numb. But there's no excuse to have ignored her like that. I'm sure she knows. She's not that dense. Someday, I owe her a nice long talk. I want her to know how I... How, I want her to know that I care about her. There. I don't care about you anymore, Mark. Whoa. Did I win? You won. You won. Huh? Who'd have thought? Arr, just you wait. I'll have my revenge next time. You say that every time. 
fine then. Again. I'll try again. <sighs> We're gonna be here for a while, aren't we? By the time we left, our final score was 7-2 for her. I don't want to do this. Oni-chan, stop thinking so much. It's bad for your complexion. Oh god, it's so bright. Ah. What? Oh. I guess we're already on the train. Complexion aside, yeah, I guess you're right. Right. Uh oh. I used the wrong voice. No. Right about what? The fact that you should stop thinking about Lillian. I can't believe I used the wrong voice. Oh god! I wish I could redo it, but I can't. Take time out, man. Why would you say that with a straight face? Years of practice. Oh jeez. She's uh she's the best little sister I've ever had. I would want a little sister like her. She's awesome! Oh my god. Uh But anyway, of course that's not what I was thinking about. I see. Then were you thinking of a way to admit to Lucas that you want to borrow one of his games? Let's just say that I've had a lot to think about lately. I think that's sufficiently vague and truthful. Yeah, figures. Her voice trails off as she sinks into the background. If that doesn't say out of character, I don't know what does. Um, you okay, Rin? Huh? Of course. I, I'm fine. You're the one I was worried about. Did you just say that you were war? No! You're not actually mad, are you? Of course I'm mad. Doesn't the pop the vein make it obvious? I don't see any pop vein. You're yeah, so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make my very, 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 very absurd laughter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That seems retarded. Sorry. S -s Sorry. It's just so rare right that I get a chance to tease you. It doesn't count as teasing when you're cheating. How, exact how exactly am I cheating? I haven't figured that out yet. Seriously, I try to mess with you by snapping you out of your daydream, and this is what I get. Not bad, hmm? I admit, that was a good play. Wait, so this was all a plan to mess with my head? I wasn't actually worried about you or anything. I just didn't want you to fall asleep on some poor girl's shoulder. Oh jeez, that was horrible. And we've been already 9 minutes into the video. About. I guess I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't remind her that I'm standing, not sitting. That aside, what made you think there was a reason to be worried? Well, you've been zoning down. You've been zoning out a lot lately, and you were gazing out the window like an actor in a soap soap opera. And 
You've been distant lately. That's, uh, perceptive. Sorry. I know. It's no big deal. You have your own life, and I know there are things you wouldn't tell me about. Don't say it like that. It won't be long, alright. There's something I need to sort out. That's all. The train screech us to a halt at our destination. Ah! <coughs> be right back. Okay, I'm back. Ah! <coughs> uh, uh, I shouldn't do the screeching voice. Uh, I'm not gonna back through. Rin greens as she pulls Lucas off his gaming device, but I can tell it's a thin coat of paint. It's uncomfortably cold. Not bitterly cold, but uncomfortably. Just cold enough to make you wish. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's night time again. Just enough to make you wish you brought gloves. When your breath is barely visible. It's the late fall equivalent to those drizzly days when you can't quite decide if it's worth taking out your umbrella. It's not it's nostalgic. Nostalgic. No, I'm just gonna underline what nostalgic is. It's like um I think dizzy. Like you're feeling very um drowsy, you know like vomiting. You no know, headache and everything. I pace back and forth to clear my mind, but it doesn't work. It's been years since I've seen him. Years. I should be excited, but something feels off. Okay, so this is Myra. <clears throat> Gosh, it's cold. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Was he supposed to be the star of the football team? An emotional wreck. Just another guy. There's no way he's forgotten everything that happened. I was struck with the strangest feeling when I talked to him the other day. He was mesmerized, of course, but his eyes were empty. It was like staring through frosted glass, virtually opaque. But I can't lose focus yet. I just wish I could shake the feeling that he isn't who he used to be. I guess three years is a long time. Ain't it? Ain't three years a long time? Mark, we're finally here. Where are we going? Going again. The ma. What? Okay, I don't understand what just happened. Feel free to browse, everyone. New customers are always appreciated. Me back. What? Yes, yes, you'll be amazed. You have an endless amount of products. It's time. It's time. The Golden Land awaits us! Ah, oh, just so I'm clear. This is a store, right? Well, yes. Okay, just checking. Well then. I don't really want to ditch them. But when I consider the possibilities of what's behind those doors. Okay, so here's where I save. We're gonna see what's gonna happen if I go in with them. Okay, that's gonna be my choice. I will go in with them. Alright, I'll bite the bullet.
kick common sense to the curb. What you have, what have you? I'm going in. Animal. I think I've heard Lucas mention that game. Maybe they're lining up for pre-orders. I wandered to the back of the store in search of wherever Lit Lit Rin and Lucas vanished to. I stumble upon bits and pieces of conversation. I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. Pre-orders are going up next week. I hear the TV station site has an exclusive pillow covers too. Huh? I even know a guy who can get it across the border for you. I'm out of here. Gust of cold breeze strikes my cheek. I, I, I want to see what happens here. No, not over on the save. I'm also save out save me. Number five. Yeah, I'll save number five. Roll, roll. Yes, roll. So let's stay far, far away. Yeah, no. Well, I'll be off. I guess. I was going a bit far out to Rin and Lucas. But it seems they've already merged in much with the swarm. Oh well, I'm sure Rin will notice that I'm gone when she gets hungry. I plan on enjoying an afternoon in the mall like a good high schooler. There's one key point I forgot to calculate. There's nothing to do here. There's no there's a reason I haven't set foot in the mall in half a year. <sighs> My mind wanders before I know it. No points for guessing the culprit. Myra. Okay, so this is different. Good thing I saved. Hair float. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say something. Else. Yeah, I'm gonna override save for mode one. Yes, we're gonna override right safe for number one. We're good, we're good, okay. Hair flowing in the breeze of a chilly December night. Scarlet ribbon flashing against the black sky. They replay in my mind like an old film, real, frozen in time. I can't stop thinking about her, and I don't know why. Should I go back to school to see her tonight? Not like she'll be there, but it's the strangest thing. She's a relic, like a childhood friend that I no longer recognize. There will be an obvious enough explanation, but most long lost childhood friends are less angelic or ghostly. The entire premise. It's ridiculous. Anyway, a girl appearing out of nowhere to me, of all people, claiming to be an acquaintance from long ago, as if we shared some sort of precious memory together that I conveniently forgot. This has cheesy love story written all over it, but that's crap to put it bluntly. All she needs is a tragic backstory and she'll be a character out of one of Lucas games but if I really believe that why do I have to convince myself of it no no I should stick to the facts keep it simple could she be an old neighbor friend no that's like unlikely I didn't have many friends growing up and I haven't lost touch with, in, with a few close friends I did have. She might have been a precious classmate, but there's no way I forget someone as striking as her. Oh, you think she's pretty? Honestly, I think she's pretty too. But who else would know what school I go to and the route I take home? Not friends, then. family? Hmm, oh that's a thought. 
she could just be a distant relative. Coming back after years of absence and playing a cruel prank on her half-cousin or whatever I am. But then, why don't I remember her? Damn it! This is just leading me in circles. What if I'm just overthinking this whole thing? But no, that can't be. You can't overthink a girl who knows your name and your past, teleports to and from school, and jumps off a rooftop without dying. <sighs> I'm just rationalizing, aren't I? Okay, I think this is where we continue on. Is it the same? A gust of cold breeze strikes my cheek. The hell? I look upon I look up and find myself outside. Daydreams are a powerful thing. Okay, what now? The air cools my lungs with every breath, but it's refreshing, refreshing in its own way. It isn't too late yet, but the sun is already starting to set. Refreshed, I decided to take the scenic route back to the mall entrance. Right, so this is where we actually start. But I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this one because I'm I'm more or less, you know, more into this one than this one. This one's like when you enter. But you guys know the details, right? So let's just load this one. Starbucks, Starbucks, ignore Starbucks. Can I just catch a glimpse of a UFO? Fake foot? Oh no, sorry. It's just a day. It's just daydreaming, Lillian. Uh, oh, hey, Mark. Strange to see you out on a Sunday shopping with Rin, I suppose. <gasps> She blurts out a barrage of words. I might regret asking this, but what were you thinking about just now? Nothing you need to worry about. She's blushing. She's blushing. Oh, I wonder how my protagonist looks like. He tries to glare angrily at me. But I can't quite say that it's working. It wouldn't happen to have much to do with that shopping bag on the bench next to you. Of course not. Oh, her blush on the cheek go to the nose. Anyway, what are you doing out here? This isn't exactly weather for lounging. No weather for strolling either. You're a sharp as old as ever. I was gonna say always. Me? Sharp? I'm not like this ev around everyone. I'm not like this around everyone. Uh, uh, my English. Stop being so awkward towards each other. What? Is there something on my face? <laughs> it's obvious. It's so obvious. Don't have to lie to me, Lillian. Shh, 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 shh. Don't say anything. I know you love Mark. I know you love Mark. <laughs> well, um, no. It's, it's just... That sounded more coherent in my head. See? I'm only sharp around my slow-witted friends. I wouldn't go out of my way to... Slow-witted? So that's what she meant. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean... Ah, 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 man. I love a recite laugh. How do I even do that? I don't know how to do a recite laugh. 
I'll do that in the next video. It's alright. Don't worry about it. I know you weren't implying anything. You're right. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. <sighs> it's futile. Anyway, let's go for a walk. Sure. I'm just about fully rested. We're right. Let's go. I look away unconsciously as my stomach flips itself over. <sighs> Can't believe I sat there for so long. It's cold. She's cute. Yeah, it is. Rin and I almost died this morning. Um, what? It's nothing you need to worry about. Guess that some stories are better left untold. Though that reminds me, my head seems to have stopped hurting. We can go inside if you want. I'm sure they'll be able to find us. No, no, it's alright. Besides, it's a nice day, don't you think? Ye yeah. I guess it is. I fidget with whatever I can find in my pocket. Uh, 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 how are things going with the library committee? Oh, you haven't had anything much to do for a while. Things are winding down for the holidays. And I suppose you have no need to worry about midterms? Well, I usually spend about an hour a day studying, so there's no need to worry about tests. Schoolwork is easy once you get once you study regularly. You know what she's going to say before she even says it. It's not you, it's I. Damn it, my English. Shouldn't you be worrying about your test mark? Uh, I'll get through it somehow. Wait, wait uh. uh. L let me explain. You see, s some people are born hardworking and others aren't. I happen to fall into the l latter category. That's your explanation? She shouts and hits me on the head. Bang! <laughs> ah! Literally. <laughs> Mark your hilarious. You know, if you don't work hard now, you'll never be able to get into a good university. And if you don't do that, you'll never get a good job. Then you'll never make good money. Does this bother you even a little? Well, I guess you could say that. It bothers me a little. It really doesn't bother me at all. <sighs> You're doing badly enough as it is. What would happen if I weren't here to keep you on your toes like this? I'd probably be sleeping on the roof at school and playing video games at home actually. You'd probably sneak onto the roof at school to nap your classes away and waste your time at home on games, that's what you be doing. Okay, you got me. Good. Honestly, you'd be helpless without me. And I suppose it's a good thing that I have you around. Ah. Uh... Silence. The crowd, the traffic, the constant droning of nature. All disappear. You're right. It really is a good thing. But you seriously want to repay me? All you have to do is take care of yourself. R r right. I take a sharp breath of cold air, just what I need to cool my cheeks. You should come over. Anytime this week is free is fine. That. 
you can come over and I'll help you review. Oh my god, it's been 30 minutes already. Oh, uh, sure. That would help. Um, that's fine with you, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. We've gone through a lot. We've gone through a lot. We're ending it here on the safe note of part two. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my video and share it with your friends. Uh, I'm Polar Bear Sean and I'm gonna say goodbye to you for the and hope you guys last for this 30 minute video. If you guys did last, I'll clap for you guys. There. Goodbye.